Good day everyone and to all the positive thinkers who are watching right now. For today, we are going to discuss about measurements. So most quantities we encounter in our everyday activities need to be measured in some units. Okay, so first let us convert linear measurement. The standard unit of measurement for length in the metric system is called meter. So 10 times longer than a meter is decameter, 100 times longer than a meter is called hectometer, 1000 times longer than a meter is called kilometer, while 10 times shorter than a meter is called decimeter, 100 times shorter than a meter is called centimeter, and 1000 times shorter than a meter is called millimeter. Okay, let us find out their abbreviations. For the meter, it is represented by small letter M. For decameter, DAM. Hectometer, HM. Kilometer, KM. Decimeter, DM. Centimeter, CM. And millimeter, MM. Okay, next I will show you some tricks. Yes? is a way to convert linear measurements. For example, convert 8 meters to centimeter. So from meter, going to centimeter. Meter to centimeter, going to the right. And there are two decimal places or two steps going to centimeter and we know that the decimal point of 8 is on the right side of the number so equals 8 we know that the decimal is on the right side then let us move let us move the decimal point going to the right two places 1 2 and then fill the spaces with zeros. Therefore, the answer is 800 centimeter. So in this trick, you don't need to multiply the units. Next example, 45 meters to millimeters. Okay, from meter to 2 millimeter. That is going to the right again. And there are three steps going to millimeter. So equals 45. Then we are going to start with the decimal point. So three decimal places. One, two, three. And then put zeros. The answer is 45,000 millimeters. Next. 5 kilometers going to meters. So from kilometers going to meters is 3 steps away. Okay, 5, then 1, 2, 3. The answer is 5,000 meters. Next, 10.5 kilometers to meters. So again, that is 3 steps away going to meters. 10.5 so we are going to start with this decimal point three places going to the right okay, one two three so the decimal point it is is already here and then put zeros the answer will be 10,500 so that is 10,500 meters next convert 1000 millimeters to centimeter from millimeters going to centimeter that is one step going to the left going to the left so that is equal to we know that this decimal point is here 
So we need to move the decimal point going to the left. One step. One. Therefore, the answer is 100 centimeter. Next, 1,000 millimeters going to meters. So from millimeters going to meters. That is three steps away going to the left. Okay, 1,000. Then we're going to move the decimal point. Three steps. Three places going to the left. One, two, three. Therefore, 1,000 millimeters is equal to one meter. Next, 74,000 centimeter to kilometer. From centimeter going to kilometer. That is one, two, three, four, five. Five steps. Therefore, we need to move the decimal point five steps going to the left. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So the decimal point is moved here. Therefore, the final answer is 0 0.74 or 0 0.74000. Kilometers. Next. Two one zero nine point eight meters to kilometers. From meter going to kilometer, that is three steps away. So two one zero nine point eight. Then move the decimal point going to the left. Three places. One, two, three. Therefore, the final answer is 2.1098 kilometers. Next, let us go to conversion of mass measurement. So just um, just replace the meters by gram or by yes by gram. So ten times heavier than a gram is decagram. Hundred times heavier than a gram is hectogram. Then next is kilogram. While ten times lighter than a gram is called decigram. Hundred times lighter than a gram is centigram and 1,000 times lighter than a gram is called milligram. And for the abbreviations, we have here. Okay, that, Those are the abbreviations of the units for the mass. And to convert the units for the mass measurement, we are going to do the same process. So here we just change um, M as G for gram. So for example, 10 grams to centigram. So we need to do the same process as we did in the linear measurement. So from gram going to centigram, that is Two places away, going to the right. That is equal to 10. And then we are going to move the decimal point. Two steps, going to the right. Then fill up with zeros. The answer is 1,000 centigram. Next. 34 grams to milligrams. So from grams to milligrams is three steps away okay therefore we need to um, put three zeros to make it 34,000 milligrams 34,000 milligrams okay next 5.5 kilograms to grams that is equal to so 5.5 from kilogram to gram is three steps away. 
going to the right. So we'll move the point going to the right three places. One, two, three, and then put zeros to make it 5,500 grams. Next, 90,000 grams to kilogram. So from grams going to kilogram, that is going to the left. Three places going to the left. Okay, so 90,000 and then the decimal point is here. So we need to move this decimal point going to the left. Three places. One, two, three. Therefore, the answer is 90 kilograms. Okay, I hope you are following in this video. How about converting capacity measurement? So, for the capacity, the standard unit is the liter. So, 10 times having the capacity, then a liter is called decaliter, then 100 times is called hectoliter and kiloliter. While 10 times having a small, smaller capacity than a liter is called the deciliter, 100 times having a smaller capacity or 100 times smaller than a liter is called centil centiliter and 1000 times smaller the capacity is called milliliter. Here are their abbreviations. Okay, so we are using big letter L to represent liter. So just change the unit for um, M and G as L. Then we need also to use the same process to convert the units. For example, 10 liters to milliliter. So from liter going to milliliter, that is three places, going to the right. So going to the right, one, two, three. That is 10,000 ml or milliliters. Next, 4,000 ml. 2 liters that is going to the left 1 2 3 3 places going to the left okay so we'll move the decimal point 3 places going to the left that is equal to 4 4 liters 9.52 kiloliters Two liters, that is three decimal places, going to the right. Okay, we are going to move the decimal point three places, going to the right. One, two, three, and then put zeros to the empty space. So the final answer is 9,520 liters. How about 500.6 liters to kiloliters? So from liters going to kiloliter, kiloliters, that is going to the left, three places, three places going to the left. Okay, one, two, three. The answer is 0 0.5006. Kiloliters. And that is how we convert metric measurements. So I hope you learned from this video. Again, thank you for watching and don't forget to.